Hello and happy holidays. It's Phil Jones for Projector Review. And I get asked all the time about great holiday gifts. So I decided to put on a, um, a discussion where we talk to some of the best manufacturers about their holiday offerings. And joining me is Greg from LG. And LG has, while they make TVs, they make some amazing um, um, projectors for your home. So Greg, how are you? Having too much fun. I'm ready for Christmas to kick in so I can open up some of my own gifts. So let's talk about some of the cool projectors. And the one, one that I really want to talk about that really stands out to me is your Ultra Short Throw. It's one of my favorite Ultra Short Throw projectors. I've had the opportunity to review several. And when it comes to um, picture quality and performance, the LG is definitely at the top of the list. So let's talk a little bit about that projector and what makes it special. Well, so, you know, what I really love about the HU85, you know, LG short throw projector is if you are in a TV now, 55 inch, you want to go big. It is just so easy to pull that TV off of your TV cabinet and put the HU85 right in its place. And the other beautiful thing about the HU85 is that when you have it on your cabinet, Usually when we go to projector, we give up a lot of the smart capabilities, but mm -hmm. LG has really capitalized on our smart system and our mm -hmm. you know TVs, and we've essentially migrated it right over to the projectors. Mm -hmm. So you're getting that full LG television experience, but on a 90 to 120 inch screen, that's incredibly easy to set up right there on your TV cabinet. So you're not having to run the cables, you're not having to run wires, and yeah, it has been a fantastic piece and you get that full TV experience. Okay. So, yeah, so let's TV. talk about this. Let's talk about this. There's a big buzz right now for TV replacements. <laughs> LG is the big guy. It's one of the big guys when it comes to flat panels. But there's also people who want a larger, more immersive image. And projectors give you that option. So you're starting to see a lot of TV replacements. Ultra short throw 4K laser smart projectors, which everybody's just starting to call laser TVs. So, so the goal is to provide all of those things you need to make a good TV replacement. So the first thing, um, low maintenance and um, um, a, of a laser or a of a good light source. And one thing that stands out about this projector that makes it look so good is its light source, the light source that it's actually using. A lot of laser projectors utilize a single um, laser, a blue <laughs> laser, to try to make all of the colors. And that has an a impact on its overall picture quality. But you guys don't do that. Can you talk a little bit about the laser light source that's in this projector that makes it so special? Right, so instead of using one, when we need three primary colors, mm -hmm. but you can go to two, but we still have to mm -hmm. do three primary colors, we do three. So we are using a three channel laser light engine. Uh, and the mm -hmm. beauty of that is you can tune the output to each one of those specifically to the primary red, green, or blue that you need to be able to reproduce. So mm -hmm. in this projector, we have a red light source. We also have mm -hmm. a blue separate laser for blue. And then we have a third laser, which is blue again, but then runs through a uh, color refiner, a, a phosphor panel to create mm -hmm. the specific range of green that we need. Uh, so mm -hmm. this allows us to be much brighter. Uh, it mm -hmm. also allows the unit to run for very long periods of time without the worry of having to replace the, you know, the light source uh, like we do with lamp-based projectors. So we expect up to 20,000 hours of operation. And mm -hmm. by using a laser, uh, one of the things, you know, we were talking about projectors and what we've got right now. In my old lamp projector, I turn it on, it may be a minute, two minutes, three minutes mm -hmm. before it starts to warm up and look mm -hmm. proper. Whereas mm -hmm. this laser, it fires up in about 15, 20 seconds. It's full yes. brightness, ready to go. Yeah. And, and that's a big awesome. thing. You treat it like a TV. It turns on quick like a TV. It turns off like a TV. You could use it as long as a TV, and you have to worry about the having a bulb to change and everything else. So the so that's a main part of a TV replacement. But like he said, the laser lights engine is what makes this thing so so good. Because most of these guys are using a blue laser, and then they're using they're making blue and ye yellow, which <laughs> makes blue and yellow makes a really funky makes a lot of green. 
And then they try to bend that into everything else. So a lot of the projectors that utilize that system, you can get good colors, but at, out of the box, they tend to be greenish. And by the time you tame the greenish, the greenish tint of it, you sacrifice a lot of the brightness. So, it, so you have a choice, a bright gr projector with green faces or, or, a, or an accurate color with less brightness. This gives you richer colors while maintaining the brightness. So a lot of times when you compare this LG projector to another projector with the same rated brightness, by the time you get the colors to look right, the LG will be noticeably brighter. So that's one of the things. So you get brighter, richer colors from this. Oh, and by the way, um, this helps eliminate the little, a lot of the little spinning wheels and stuff. They give people rainbows. I'm sensitive to rainbows, and many of you out there may be sensitive to rainbows too. This helps eliminate that. So if you're sensitive to rainbows, you want bright, vibrant colors, their multi-channel um, th um, laser light source is one of the reasons why this projector stands out. It's also a reason why you pay a premium for this projector over something else. So you may see some other projectors out there that are less. You get what you pay for. So you right. may want to wonder why the LG costs more. That is one of the main things. The, the next thing you want to talk about, Greg, is its smarts. Because we said uh, uh, if it's a TV replacement, it's got to be able to be bright and be able to utilize in the house. But many of us have smart TVs, so it has to be smart. But can you talk a little bit about your smart system that is built into these, these types of projectors? Well, when we hear smart as it relates to a TV or projector, I think what pops into most people's minds is, oh, it has streaming, it has Netflix, it has YouTube, it has, you know, Disney Plus, which we've added. And yeah, that's mm -hmm. part of it. But there's so much more you can do with your projector. And where projectors traditionally have just been display devices where they're only mm -hmm. showing you, they're just showing whatever you're running through them. They don't have the, you know, the apps and stuff built in. And in some cases, if they do have apps, they're not running at the full resolution of the projector. 480, mm -hmm. maybe 1080 when it's a 4K projector. So we're making sure that mm -hmm. that experience is consistent and matches up with what you get know, with our TVs, but it mm -hmm. goes even beyond that. Uh, we have the ability to use our magic remote, and here mm -hmm. I've got one from one of our TVs, and they all mm -hmm. have a mic button on them. And when you set it up, I just press the mic button and I can say, you know, kid movies, and it will search all mm -hmm. of the different apps that I have and let me know what movies you know qualify as kid movies if I want to find something quickly to watch. Um, mm -hmm. But because that's our thin queue, I can set sleep timers. I can change the input. I can launch the apps. I can do pretty much you know a lot of things the TV offers just by pressing that button and telling the TV what to do. But mm -hmm. beyond that, a lot of people are now starting to employ Google Assistant and do, you know, uh, thermostat control, lock control, lighting control, all sorts of control. Maybe you're an Alexa mm -hmm. fan, you know, mm -hmm. thou whose name should not be spoken, I guess is what they say. It <laughs> sets off devices on these interviews. But whether you're an Alexa fan or a Google Assistant fan, we can actually run both now with the latest firmware in these projectors. So mm -hmm. if, uh, let's say you got a couple that's getting together, he's a Google fan, she's an Alexa fan, they bring all their equipment together, you can press mm -hmm. the mic button and boom, I can talk to Google and tell it to turn down the lights, you know, okay. uh, you know, anything that I want to do with it. But if her equipment is Alexa, I hit the prime video button that activates Alexa and boom, I can do it that way. So now whole house integration with blast control. Now the, the big thing about this too, that I want to stress is a lot of projector companies are starting to add smarts. It's new to them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but but if you look at a company like LG, LG has made has been making smart TVs for years and years and years and years and years and years and years. And years. So because of that, their interface ha has been refined. It isn't a small projector company trying to figure out how to make smart. It is a company that makes everything from smart TVs to smart refrigerators figuring out how to make smart. So when you look at their interface and how seamlessly it's integrated into the projector, it is amazing. I've, I used to do TVs before. I used to work for a company, Sony, 
and uh, and we used to look at TV interfaces as well. And the LG TV interface has always been very, very good. And a lot of the stuff they've learned, pretty much all the stuff they've learned for the TV has been integrated into the projector. So it's very seamless and it's very, very good. The other thing we want to talk about is in the in the in the year of COVID, a lot of us, our houses are becoming our castles. And a lot of the content that you're getting is being uh, provided up into smart services like Disney Plus or HBO Max and all of these different services. So instead of me having to take my taking my family to the movie theater, now I can have those movies, a lot of those movies first run like Mulan. Um, the day it comes out in the theater, it comes out at home. And all of those, all of that in information is available to you. The last thing is, I have actually unplugged. Um, I am a cord cutter. So instead of me paying the multiple prices for a million different um, uh, cable boxes throughout my house, you can have Time Warner and just have the Time Warner app in the projector. Or like me, I use Hulu. I have Hulu, um, um, Hulu TV. I have um, Netflix. I have Disney Plus and I have HBO Max. So now I got front run, um, fr um, first run movies the day they come out. I have all of the great um, stuff available on Netflix and everything else, plus all of my sports and everything. And guess where it all lives? Inside of the projector. Um, exactly. So that's an important thing. So yeah. so smarts is, is a big, big thing when it comes to a TV replacement. Yeah. You know, and it's also interesting that with – you know, movie theaters not really being accessible. To me, there's only one true place to be able to watch a movie, and that's at the theater. Mm -hmm. I mean, where mm -hmm. big screen, big audio, dark, it completely engages you. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that, how do you get to see movies the way they're supposed to be? And the closest facsimile mm -hmm. of that is mm -hmm. going through a projector, honestly. Exactly, exactly. I always say, why measure your TV in inches when you can measure it in feet? <laughs> Exactly. Oh, you have a five inch TV. I have a 10 foot TV. I'm, you know, I think I win that fight. Oh, why do your football players look this big? My football players are five feet tall, you know, <laughs> you know, oh, you're playing Halo. You know, playing Halo on a projector is a whole nother thing. My son plays NBA 2K and playing NBA 2K at 120 inch screen is a different um, experience than playing it on a 32 inch monitor. So there's a whole thing about it. So we want it to be, we want the low maintenance and the and the brightness of a, of a good laser source. It has to be smart. And then the last challenge was, I don't wanna put the, t I, I don't wanna have this thing behind me that's gonna block the picture and, and where am I gonna hang it in the back? And that's where the ultra short throw comes in. The ability to have this this projector a few inches from the screen in front of you Instead and and still project this gigantic picture. Um, that is the last part. So, so but the whole thing about ultra short throw is the optics, because if it because now you're trying to bend light in all sorts of funky <laughs> ways. So so optics has a, a a good a good part of that is too right. When you say when you say Greg, absolutely. Um, if the optics aren't right, and even the surface that you put this on, uh, you mm -hmm. can throw it on a wall real easy. But if mm -hmm. that wall has any bends, if it's not a perfectly flat wall, mm -hmm. it's not going to be geometrically perfect. So we do mm -hmm. have a 12 point geometry correction digital system that you can use to mm -hmm. compensate if you're just trying to throw it up and you see the walls kind of out of whack and it's like, I wanna straighten up the lines, make sure the top is done. So yeah, mm -hmm. we can do that really easy, uh, mm -hmm. but you don't need much space. This thing is ridiculously ultra, ultra short throw. Uh, yes. If you wanna get a 90 inch image, you only need to get the back of the projector 2.2 inches away from the front plane or the surface of the screen itself. The screen. Yeah, which 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 gives you a ton of placement options and a ton of placement flexibility. The other thing that that's um, unique about your unit is a lot of the companies are are packaging the their projectors with a screen. I can see a benefit to that. However, I can also see a benefit of not. Um, for example, anybody that's buying the better a higher end projector probably wants the option of choosing a screen that works best for them. Like for example. Um, the one of the benefits of a ultra short throw is I can have a gigantic picture, and when I turn it off, 
I could make the whole thing disappear. If I go out and buy an 85 inch TV, when I turn it off, there's a gigantic piece of black glass sitting in the front of my room. Exactly. You go out and you buy yourself an ultra short throw like the LG. I have the an SI Pro Solo, um, the battery powered um, motorized um, short throw lens um, um, screen. It took my wife and I five minutes to put it up. It's battery power. You ain't even got to run power to it. She put her painting in front of it on the wall. So people come over and they look at the my, my room and they go, I thought you review projectors. Where is the projector? And then all of a sudden I hit a switch. The projector lights up and the screen comes down. Ta-da! Gigantic picture. But when I turn it off, it's gone. So right. and that's one of the benefits of doing it. So you can get a fixed screen. You can do motorized screens that motorize down, motorized screens that motorize up. You can choose the size you want. Um, 90 inch, 100 inch, 105 inch, 120 inch, you choose the screen. So so one of the benefits of being able to um, get it separately is you talk to your installer or you think about your life and then you choose the best screen to go with the projectors. And all the projector company, all the projector screen companies have material that work perfectly with the LG projector. So that gives you a lot more yes, they do. flexibility. So, Definitely. like I said, I absolutely love this projector. Um, I, I think, right. like I said, um, I have reviewed both the consumer version, and we're getting ready to sitting over here right next to me is the professional version, the LS, um, the 85, I think 85 LS. And right. the main difference between the two is the S, because a lot of the things that people want at home, reliability, um, low maintenance. Um, the ability to go to the internet, the ability to bring up applications, the ultra short throw, the brightness, the color accuracy is the same stuff that if you're doing a business, you're going to want the same thing. So, right. so it's funny how the projects, the products are, are morphing together. So right. how much does the HU85LA retail for? Currently, it is $59.99, uh, so just a scotch under $6,000. So if you look at it, say you got this and you got yourself a nice screen for about, you know, $2,000. Um, 85 inches, anything above 85, it, there is no competition with, against an ultra short throw. Um, if you want to know a 100 inch plus flat panel, you could buy this and a BMW right. <laughs> for what <laughs> it would cost for you to get a 100 inch flat panel. So when it comes to inches, you know. Um, dollars per inches. If you really want a large immersive experience, this is the way to go. By the way, I have an 85 inch um, TV for my daytime and for, and that's my little TV. And then I motorize down a big screen when I really nice. want to get serious. So, yeah. so this is a way to go. Now this is, you said right around, you said it was 59.99. Correct. This guy right here. Okay. So now there's also some other solutions that, that I want to talk about. And I really like your other little guy. Um, um, when I first started reviewing projectors for art a couple of year um, a couple of years ago, um, one of the first ones he asked me to do last year was he sent me this cool little LG um, smart LED projector, and the box showed up and the box was tiny, and in there was this little itty bitty projector <laughs> that has a tremendous amount of capabilities built into it. So and this guy. I was it, I was amazed at not only the size of it, but also the price of it. So can you talk a little bit about the HU70 um, LAB um, projector? Absolutely. So if if you look at our HU85, you know, short, ultra short throw, it's you know quite a bit bigger, but we wanted to have something that was more performance oriented, but more flexible and what you could do with it. And so the HU70 uh, LA and LAB, which is the black version of it, mm -hmm. uh, are 1500 ANSI Lumen 4K projectors, again, with the smart capability built into them. Uh, we, you know, e we even have things like Bluetooth, you know, Wi-Fi is built into it. This has, instead of an laser engine, we have gone and given it an LED engine, so light emitting diodes. And instead of going with three LEDs, one for red, one for green, one for blue, we actually have a red, a green, a blue, and then a second blue, making it four channels of LED lighting, which has, again, the ability to create a wider color gamut. You'll get brighter, more vibrant, richer colors. 
uh, mm -hmm. to give you a better experience uh, with mm -hmm. this. And again, because these are individual you know, LEDs or diodes that are lighting up the screen, we don't mm -hmm. have the wheel. And what that means is that the appearance of the rainbow artifact, usually mm -hmm. caused by the wheel, is virtually eliminated. So yeah. you just get a nice, bright image. But to your point, it is really tiny. Yes, it tiny is very enough, small. You could put this in a backpack and travel with it. Mm -hmm. It's that yeah. small. So like I said, if you're someone that if you're someone that has a small home or you live in an apartment or a dorm or or anything like that, a military guy, um, this little guy, and um, there's a little elite screen that packs into a bag about this big, literally about about that big, less than maybe maybe three feet for a 70-inch screen. And you could literally grab this projector, put it in a backpack, grab that screen, move to the next barracks, and slap up a 75 or 80-inch television set in, 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 in 25 minutes. So that right. is a really, really cool thing you could do. Now, a couple of things about this LED. A lot of the guys that make LEDs are focusing on LED lumens because the ANSI lumens are pretty low. This this is yes, um, LEDs do give you a a more perceived um, um, perception of brightness, but this is 1500 ANSI lumens. This is a bright LED projector. Yes. Before LEDs were utilized in tiny little projectors that were compact but weren't very bright. Um, because of their light source, it is quite, it is very, it is substantially bright for its size while still being compact. All of that L LG brains that they put in it, the thin IQ and, and all of that stuff that's found in the big boys and in their TVs are, is also in this little guy. So I had it in my bedroom for a while and it was my Hulu plus my Netflix, my Amazon, everything. The hardest thing about being setting up a projector is not only is running power to it and running the source, the source signal from all of your sources to the projector. This one, you just need a power cord and then everything right. else you need is built into it. So it really makes for a great, great solution. Right. This one is also, I think, great if somebody wants to have a theater set up, but like us during the summer and because you can't go anywhere, you can do dive-in movie theater, backyard theater, you know, something, you know, cookout oriented. You can take it outside real quick, plug it in, like you said, to power. And because it has mm -hmm. LG's WebOS with NQAI, uh, streaming, Netflix, anything, you have a source built in. It's got Wi-Fi. It'll connect to the house, you know, Wi-Fi mm -hmm. network. And mm -hmm. what do I do about audio? Well, it's kind of a pain to run an optical connection, but this mm -hmm. does have Bluetooth built into it. Mm -hmm. So outdoors you can take it run it to a sound bar a pair of bluetooth speakers and boom with one plug and a couple of portable bluetooth speakers you've got an outdoor theater exactly like um for my for i always use my kids as an example my daughter likes to have people come over and watch TikTok videos on their phones and instead of them all gathering around this little ipad i can give her this little projector she can project onto her wall cast her TikTok videos <laughs> from her phone or her ipad to a real size screen right and then Bluetooth the audio to her speaker that's in her room for an even better audio experience. And then when she all gets done, she goes, here you go, dad. And, and she gives it back to me and I, nice. can take it, I can take it away. Now the ARC thing, I'm glad you brought that up. We just mentioned that these, both this device, the little HU70LA, as well as the big guy, the HU85LA, both have ARC. We talk about all the apps are in there. So all those apps are in 4K and HDR, and a lot of them also have surround sound. So if you're watching the, like for example, Wonder Woman comes out on Christmas um, on HBO Max. So say you have HBO Max on your on your ultra short throw, you could take that arc from there and go to like a Denon or Marantz full Atmos system um, that way. So the ability to pass high quality multi-channel surround sound and these are one of the few projectors that offer those types of capabilities. So when we talk about the fact that these guys are TV people and they're projector people, they can they can share that knowledge and offer a feature set that far exceeds most projectors in their price point. So I really, really, really like this little HU70 um, LAB and LA. 
I think they're they're really nice. The one I had was the white one. Um, I I like the black. The black cosmetic really makes it. If you put on top of a desk or something like that, or on a coffee table, it really just kind of disappears when you're right. when you're when you're watching it. Yeah, it's a, if you so. have a you know white ceiling in your room, it, the white one may hide away easier. If you've got a completely dark theater room, you don't want it bouncing light around. <laughs> We've got both now, so yeehaw. Okay. <laughs> so um, the HU70 LAB, um, what is the retail price for that, and where is that available? Uh, currently seventeen ninety nine. Uh, mm -hmm. and uh, you could go to LG's website and it can point you to the current retailers for that product. Okay. Okay. So $17.99. Now I will, like I said, I will point out $17.99, 1500 lumens. Um, I challenge you to find a single laser at $1,799 that could match the color quality of this projector. Um, I calibrate a lot of the projectors before we set them up and I was shocked at how fast <laughs> I could calibrate this projector because half the time I have to wrestle the blue laser DLP into submission to get <laughs> accurate color. So, but this one, um, all of it was responsive for all calibration and the colors came out exceptional and I didn't lose a lot of brightness. So you may find a laser projector that theoretically has a higher brightness, but once it's calibrated, most likely the calibrated brightness will be lower than this one. So yes, it can do 2,000 or 3,000 lumen for $17.99 <laughs> in vivid green face mode. But by the time I calibrate it to make a good picture, most likely this unit may be the same brightness or brighter, plus all the smart features, plus the voice control, plus the Amazon Alexa, plus the Google Assistant, and plus the Wi-Fi, the Miracast, the Bluetooth, the the USB plug and play, um, and 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 the media player that's built in. So if you look at all of the things you could do with this, and it's picture quality at seventeen ninety nine, it is a very 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 cool piece. That's why I wanted Greg to come in and, and talk about it. So Greg, thank you very much for coming and talking about your lineup of great. Um, projector. So if you're looking for one of the best ultra short throw projectors on the market when it comes to picture quality and functionality, make sure you check out LG's HU85LA. And if you're looking for a great, amazing portable solution that offers you exceptional picture quality, a huge amount of smarts, and a lot of bang for your buck, make sure that you also check out LG's HU70LAB. I am going to have Greg come back a little later and talk about some more projectors in the future because they have another one in the pipeline that i am itching to see <laughs> and as soon as that comes out and soon as it's sitting in front of me i'm gonna have greg come and talk about that but if you're looking for some great holiday gifts make sure you check out lg's lineup of projectors so take care and happy holidays